From the speeding, the swerving, the crashing, and the erratic behavior, witnesses line the streets sounding off. All of them relieved that police tracked down the man that they say caused this mess. They say that man was driving drunk. This is the rugged 36 year old man who you can see giving authorities quite a challenge, jumping on the driver of this fire truck and assaulting him, just part of the picture. He bangs a left. Almost flips the truck over, loses control. And we just watched him speed off, and we said to each other, he's going to kill someone. Fortunately, not the case, but police say the alleged drunk driver did cause this mess on 10th Avenue and 43rd Street around 12.30 Sunday afternoon. Seven cars hit, nine people injured. Flabbergasted, yeah. A little bit nervous, you know. Because it could have been, if we crossed the road maybe 10 seconds before. Other pedestrians and people with parked cars are saying the same thing. What if? That's why the driver of this smashed up white SUV is smiling. It's only a car. He says before he could even think about the crash he witnessed, all eyes were on the driver of the Enterprise box truck. And I see here people just like panic, run, and it was very scary. Witnesses say they watched the driver jump out of the truck and try to take off. He's disoriented. Disconnected from reality. Mark Davalos says he and others helped chase him down and distract him until firefighters arrived. The FDNY happened to be on another call in the area and were met with this erratic behavior we showed you caught on camera. You can see numerous firefighters trying to stop him even after they say he assaulted the driver of the fire truck. I just want to help. Once everything calmed down, witnesses and people walking by shared stories, mainly of how this awful mess could have been tragic. We reached out to Enterprise for a comment. All they would say is that they're cooperating with authorities. In Hell's Kitchen, Aaron Logan, CBS 2 News.